When I think about heating in a cold climate, it always starts with a heat loss calculation. How much of the heat that we make passes through the wall and is lost to outside? Heat always goes to cold. Now in conventional construction, we might have a two by four wall with fiberglass insulation inside of it. Now that has a given R value. That's the measurement of how much heat passes through it. And that R value might be R19. Now this year we're building new. It allows us to really rethink our outside wall cavities. Here's our finished wall right here on the inside. And you can see this chase right here. This allows us to run pipes and wires inside that wall without penetrating the insulation and letting some heat leak outside. Inside of this 2x4 is foam insulation, urethane, that has a high R value. And then outboard of that, we have an additional two inches of rigid insulation. It means that this combined R value is about double a conventional wall. If it's double, it means about half the amount of heat passes to outside. Less lost, less has to be made. Now, how we heat the building this year is going to be using water. We're going to heat water and we use radiant floor heating. Here's a mock-up of our building. Now, you can see our floor system right here. And as I zoom in, you can see the radiant installed underneath the floor. And we've done this before, but what's different this year is we normally do it after the building has been framed and decked. But this year, because we're prefabricating, we can do it a lot earlier. So this is actually your job here, Richard. This is one of our floors? Yep, this is the first floor mudroom. All right, so you're not using plywood? That's what we usually use. No, we prefer OSB. Oriented strand board. Yep, it's more stable. It's a lot better when it gets wet on the job site. Just in case it's raining the day we fly yep. these in. Let me pick this up, we can take a look at it. Hey, I like that, a crane. Yeah, this is one of the big advantages of being in a shop. All right, so you got engineered lumber down here. Yep, these are eye joists. Uh, very strong, very stable. I tell you, we like them too compared to conventional lumber because to drill for pipes or wires, we can go right inside this webbing and not affect the structure. Right. Come on over here, Richard. We're actually starting to put together the bathroom on the main floor for your project. Great, so we're ready to assemble right now? Yep. Cool. Every part on this table has been pre-cut on our CNC machine. So I see these numbers. Now, does the computer know exactly where this piece goes? Yeah. That part number corresponds to the part number on the drawings. Oh, yeah. Paul, I see a couple of holes drilled here. Yep, those were drilled on our CNC machine. They're for the radiant floor heat. So the computer knows where the radiant heat is going to be run even before the floor is assembled. That's correct. Amazing. Now we're getting ready to put down the OSB sheathing. And I like seeing that bead of adhesive underneath the subfloor. Right, that locks down the OSB and stops any squeaks that might happen That's later on. Nice quiet floor. Now we take our subfloor, line it up with the rim, and nail it off. And here's how the radiant heating is going to work. PEX tubing will carry heated water into this aluminum track. The tubing snaps down into this channel. And then the track is attached to the underside of the subfloor so the heat will transfer through the floor into the building. The advantage we have here at our shop is we can take the floor panels, lay them upside down to be able to get it to work easier. Boy, that makes it a lot easier. Boy, Paul, it's a lot easier. You know, when we do it in the field, you have to get down in the crawl space, piece by piece. Now you guys can get right at it. Well, pretty amazing, Paul. All the tracks for this room are done in about, what, five minutes. Now we just gotta run the tubing. That's right. Now remember, Richard, we pre-drilled all those holes, so this should come right together. All right, I'm gonna pull this one down the bay, all right? You, you good? Here we go. So then I can just walk it right into the channel with my feet. It certainly beats being upside down in a crawl space trying to beat that tubing into that channel. Nice. You know, Paul, this is going pretty fast. How long do you think it would take to do all of the radiant in our house? With all the floors built in our shop here, it would take about a day. Really? I tell you, if I did this on site, it could take like three days. That's pretty impressive. The last step in our process is insulation. Take the mineral wool vats, stuff them in the joist bays up tight against the radiant. Yeah. And that insulation is so important with radiant heating because you really want to contain that heat and drive it up to the living space, not let it migrate down. 
Well, Paul, in no time, we built the floor panel, installed the radiant, and insulated it. I'm impressed.